So, here is an example histogram equalization example okay and uh, you can follow the same this one uh, say same uh, approach in order to do modification also suppose let us say right suppose i have a suppose i have an 8 cross 8 image an 8 cross 8 image okay uh, that is it has 64 pixels in it and with 16 16 uh, intensities gray levels okay so i have this image which is kind of 8 cross 8 okay and then and then and then each of these each of each of these could uh, you know you know could could take any value between 0 and 15 right now suppose i plot fr of r let me call this with an abuse of notation okay this is so this will be like a probability mass function but then we are not going to normalize anything okay i'm just going to take the intensity values as they are because that is the simplest way to kind of do this so right uh, so you know so so somebody tells you that the histogram of this input image looks like this so zero occurs four times one occurs six times two occurs ten times three occurs nine times four occurs eight times five occurs six times six occurs five times seven occurs four times eight occurs four times nine two ten two so these heights are not really indicative of the actual values right the actual values are already put on top 10 to 11, 1, 12 to 13, 1, 14, none, in fact, 0, 15 also none, okay, 15 is also 0, okay, so this is your R, okay, now let us, let us simply compute the CDF for this, so let us plot what our, our FR of R will look like, FR of R versus R. So at zero, right? Uh, if you compute the CDF, it'll be four, and at one, it'll be like four plus six, which is ten. At two, it'll be ten plus ten, that is twenty, and then you go on. At three, it'll be twenty-nine. Okay, now yeah, this may have to be extended further. Okay, we may have to go further down. So three, and then four. Okay, you can simply check this. Four is thirty-seven. Five is forty-three. 6 is 48, 7 is 52, 8 is 56, 9 is 58, 10 is 60, 11 is 61, 12 is 63, okay, and uh, 13 is 64, right? Since you have 8 cross 8, right? So you end up with 64 as FR of 13. And then 14, since 14 and 15 don't even occur once, even once. So 14, 14, you have FR of 14 to be 64. And at 15, again, it stays at 64, right? So this is your FR of R. Now, if you look at what is a, what is, what is really a desired, a desired PDF, okay? So a desired one, a desired PDF, is something right that we want which will be like fz of z again this is a desired pdf and we can say that what we want is at zero okay it should be because because right you've got you got uh, you got 64 right of them uh, so it actually means that so it means that each intensity should occur and since you have 16 gray levels right and 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 if, if each of these gray levels should occur right at now should occur uniformly in the sense that they should all occur occur you know equally it will mean that each of these gray levels should occur four times so it means zero should occur four times one should occur four times two should occur four times everything should occur like four times until you get to 14 should also occur four times 15 should also occur four times right so you got 16 gray levels each one of them should occur equally four times so which then means that if you try to plot fz of z right the so okay the cdf that will be very simple it's not exactly cdf right i'm not really i'm not really really normalizing okay so that kind of makes our task easy so zero is four so one is eight 
So 2 will be, so 4 plus 4, 8, 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12, and then it goes on, right? 3 is 16, 4, 20, 5, 5 will be 24, 6 will be 28, 7 will be 32, 8 will be 36, 9 will be 40, 10 will be 44, 11 is 48, uh, let's go on. 11 is 48. Let me just probably straighten this up a little bit. So 11 is 40. Uh, what is it? 48. 12 is 52. 13 is 56. 14 is 60. And 15 is 64. Right? This is Fz of Z. Now, if this was not uniform and it was something else, that is somebody, somebody gave you some other FZ of Z, which need not have been uniform, then again, right, you would have found out a CDF. So, which is why I said that the law, right, is still the same. So, Z is equal to FZ inverse of FR of R would be, you know, equally applicable whether you are doing histogram equalization or you are doing a modification. If it is modification, then this FZ of Z would not be flat like this. It would be something else, some arbitrary thing, which would be a desired PDF. And then, right, you would have to compute FZ of Z with respect to that. Now, if you see our transformation law, what we are saying is take an R, okay, so for example, if you take R equal to 0, okay, find FR of R, which in this case, let's say FR of 0 is 4, then see FZ inverse. So, okay, so the point is, right, so I need to see, okay, so where does, uh, so where does FZ inverse of 4 I need to find out? So, 4 occurs here and FZ inverse of 4 is 0. Right? So that means, so what this means is 0 should be mapped to 0. Right? So, so it means that wherever, wherever this 0 occurs, that should be replaced by this 0. Okay? So the output histogram, right? if you try to plot, what will be the, what will be the, what will be the PDF, right? Uh, or the output histogram, what will that look like? Let's, let's, let's put that as f hat z of z because we need, so because we may not get the exact f z of z that we want. So we'll have at 0, right? We'll have 4. Okay? That means 0 will occur 4 times. Now, next r equal to 1. So, so fz of 1, uh, sorry, fr of r is 6. So, fr of 1 is 6. And then, you don't have any 6 here. So, you kind of, uh, so, so you, so you sort of look at what is the, what is the next highest value, right? The nearest highest value to which this can be mapped. That in this case is 8. Okay. Which is why I said, right? When you do, when you do a discrete case, right? I mean, a discrete approximation will not be the same as doing, uh, doing the continuous case. But then, uh, but then the but then the law is this. So six maps to eight, and eight in turn, it's the inverse of eight is one. Therefore, what did I have here? Zero, one. So f r of four. Okay, no, this should have been ten, by the way, right? Because I think this was not six. F r of r should have been ten because we had four and then six. Okay, so we should have added the two. Therefore, right, this should have been ten. Okay, not eight. 4, then 4 plus 6, 10, and then after that, I think it's fine, 29, 37, 43, 48, yeah, after that, it is fine. Okay, so what we have to look at is 10. Now, 10, right, the, when the nearest nearest value that maps to 10, the next highest value is 12. Okay, and uh, so FR of 1 is 10, FZ inverse of 10, that means we have to go to 12 and then look at look at what it maps to, so, so, so it maps to intensity 2. So basically, 2 will occur the same number of times that 1 occurs. Now, 1 occurs, how many times if you go here, 1 occurs 6 times, right? And therefore, 2. So, 1 will not occur in the output image at all. 2 will occur 6 times. Let's go on further, right? Let's, let's, uh, let's look at uh, R equal to 2, okay? Because, because right, we want to, we want to check every intensity in the input image where it will map to the output image. So, so if you have 2, right, right? So, 2 maps to 20 and then 20, of course, maps to 20 here. Therefore, 2 maps to 4. And 4 will occur the same number of times that 2 occurs and 2 occurs 10 times. Therefore, 4 will occur 10 times. Let's go, let's, let's do it one more time. FR of 3 is 29. Okay. And 29 maps to the nearest value. Our next highest value is 32. 32 maps to 7. And therefore, 7 will occur the same number of times that 3 occurs and 3 occurs 9 times. Right. So we have like 5 won't occur in the output image. 6 won't occur. The 7 will occur 9 times. That is the same number of times that actually 3 occurs. Okay. And then, and then, right, if you, if you try, if you try to, if you try to, right, go on like this, if you try to do it for every, every value, okay, you will get till a point, right? I mean, I'm going to draw this. So 7, then you will have nothing at 8. Okay. I will leave it to you to check all this. So 9 will repeat 8 times, 10, 
it will be 6 times so all this you can check verify yourself 11 will be 5 times 12 will be 4 times 13 is 4 times okay now let's just go and check okay now so this uh, 13 right is in fact occurring the same number of times that 8 occurred okay so 8 if you see 8 that is 56 and therefore right 56 maps to 56 here therefore we said 8 right so 8 maps to 8 maps to 13 and 13 will occur the same number of times that that 8 occurs right so 8 if you see here here occurs four times and that is why we had a value 13 4 okay now if you look at if you look at the next value okay, after 13 uh here right after 50 so so we finish 56 let's look at 58 58 maps to 16 okay that means 14 will occur the same number of times that 9 occurs and 9 occurs two times right therefore 14 at 14 you will have two but then it won't stop there because if you see uh so we did uh, we did 58 right so so 58 uh, went to so 9 so 9 was mapped to 13 if you if you look at uh, 60 right 60 will also map to 14 okay so the, the, the intensity 10 will also will also map to 14 therefore 14 will also occur the same number of times that this that this kind of 10 occurs so wherever 10 occurs so you know 10 occurs two times and therefore right you will have 2 plus 2 here okay which is uh, so so right these are these are the these are the changes that occur when you do a discrete implementation now let's go to the let's go higher up again Okay, now let's go to 61. If you see, right, 61 will map to 64. That means, you know, you know, 15 will occur the same number of times that 11 occurs. But then 63 will also map to 64. 64 will also map to 64. So all the values, right, starting from 11 and upwards will all map to map to intensity 15. Okay, so, so that means 15, 15, right? So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, wherever they occur, will all be re, will all be replaced by this by this value, okay? Gray level value, which is 15. Now 11 occurs how many times? Let's see. So 11 occurs one time, 12 occurs two times, 13 occurs three times, 14 and 15 do not occur at all. Therefore, right? For 15, what you will have is one plus two plus one, okay? Because because you've got like 11 occurring. Yeah, right. 11 occurring one time, 12 occurring two times, 13 occurring one time. 14 and 15, right, do not occur at all. And therefore, right, this will be, this will be, the, this will be the final histogram. As you can see, right, as you can see, this is not, this is not flat. Definitely not. In fact, in fact, what it has done is redistributed, redistributed the rate right, intensities, re redistributed for intensities in order to get a, get a, get a higher contrast to get uh, to achieve higher contrast and that is why we said uh, we said uh, that uh, that you know your you say dynamic range okay, if you ever go if you kind of go back to the first statement that i made here right when you do when you do when you do histogram equalization so what we do is we improve contrast by actually by actually using by doing a better utilization of the you see, available dynamic range okay by kind of making use of the use of the available dynamic range so in that sense, uh, so you realize that the histogram is not flat, but the, but then, right, it is indeed stretched. Okay, the flatness is not occurring simply because of the fact that you are doing, you know, a discrete implementation. The same thing can be carried over to 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 do to do histogram modification. Right, histogram modification can be done in the same way, except that Z of Z will now be will not be flat. Now somebody will specify what that is. For the same problem, right? I I'm going to give you an Z of Z, and I would like you to verify. Okay, what you get as output. Okay, now suppose I tell you that my fz of z, right, looks like this. Suppose I'm going to give, suppose I tell you that fz of z is this, which is not flat. This is a desired kind of a kind of a histogram. One is three. Okay, two is three. Three is four. Uh, four is four. Five is five. Okay, just, it just turns out that somebody gives you something like this. Six is five. Seven is six. 8 is 6, 9 is 5, 10 is 5, 11 is 4, 12 is 4, 13 is 3, 14 is 3, and 15 is 2. Okay, if you had, okay, if, if you had FZ or Z, this is supposed to be a desired PDF, and uh, the and, and then, you uh, know, this is a desired PDF. 
and the you know and the input pdf is still the same right whatever we had here suppose i gave you i gave you i gave you the input input to be the same as what we had for the earlier example now do i do a histogram modification now what will you do you will again apply the same logic as that inverse of fr of r right you will you will of course first compute compute you know fr of r which is in fact the same but then your fz of z will now change because your because because this pdf has now changed therefore the fz of z for this will change and therefore your final histogram modified modified result will also change i'll just give you the answer and i would like you to check that uh, you know that let's say right this is what you get so fz of z it okay, looks like this at the end what you have is zero nothing at one what you have is four at two you have nothing at three you have six at four you have nothing at five you have 10 at uh, six you have nothing at seven you have nine okay so 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 right as you can see four six ten nine and so on right these are exactly the same intensities that you had here four six ten nine and so on right so so, so all those are getting redistributed now six seven then eight is eight okay i'll just i'll just leave it to you to verify to verify that uh, verify right that you uh, know this indeed is the answer nine is six ten is five 11 is uh, 4, 11 is 4, 12 is 4, uh, 13 is 2, uh, 14 is 2 plus 1. Okay, this is again something right, that I would like you to check. 15 is again, let's see, 2 plus 1, right, which is equal to 3. Okay, so your so your f hat z or z should I should I D D kind of right, look like this? So so those so those two examples that I showed right were actually implemented in this manner. So one was this this histogram equalization result. Right, which I showed, which I showed here. This is again an equalization implementation where we said that the output should, the the, the output histogram should be flat. As you can see, this is not flat, right? So this implementation simply, simply, simply does a kind of a redistribution, and then what you get is a high contrast image. Similarly, the other one that I showed you earlier, which was an histogram modification. So here, the uh, sort of a desired histogram was this. And then the input histogram was then transformed in order to be able to match this histogram. And then it eventually end up with a histogram, which again is not really identical to, to, to Lena, but then, uh, but then it uses the law, right, which we use, but uh, no, because of, because of what we do, what, what we, because of the fact that we have done a discrete approximation, we cannot really expect the same as you were, what would happen in a continuous case. But then the continuous case is a case that actually gives you the foundation to kind of go ahead for the approach itself, right? And therefore, those how, how, how histogram modification and histogram equalization are actually implemented.